Hey guys, RCT3 Crashes 100 here, and we are back in Windows XP Starter Edition. Now, in this bonus episode, if you could call it that, we're going to be taking a look at a few programs, specifically Tweak NT, which, if I'm correct, allows you to remove the time bomb. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how this actually works, so let's apply. Yes. Right, so what we're going to do is restart the computer and see what happens. This is probably going to end up trashing my thing and I might need to reinstall the OVA file that I've created. And we are in! It seems as if we've actually got it to work. Now, whether the activation notification comes up, I don't know. Let's just see what happens. In the meantime, we're going to see if programs will run on Windows XP Starter Edition. Just a few, because as I already said in the previous episode, mm -hmm. pretty much any program which works on Windows XP will work on here since this is just a modified version of XP. So the first of these programs, I already mentioned this in my Windows NT Let's Have a Look video, is Splurge. Now, back in the day of Windows XP and earlier, you would have a you would these programs were extremely common. They're what you call desktop toys. They don't really do anything other than just provide a bit of novelty. So, Splurge was developed by a company working in conjunction with Cadbury for the Easter season. And basically the whole idea is you can wreak havoc on your desktop. So, you can just do whatever you like on your screen. And this program has long since been discontinued. So, I will actually put a download link for it in the description, where I will have put it up on Mediafire for you to try this out. Runs surprisingly fast, actually. And to get rid of it, all you do is you press escape. And that's done. It would seem as if the activation has not worked. Now, as you can see, Bonzi Buddy has installed just fine. For some reason, though, his text-to-speech engine doesn't seem to be working probably due to the fact that it requires its own program, which Windows XP Starter Edition tried to block, preventing it from being properly installed. However, every other feature of him seems to work fine. For some reason, he doesn't seem to be moving his mouth either, probably because that depends on the text-to-speech engine. For a bit of fun, I decided to install Prodi Parrot 2.0. Now, this program was coded for Windows 9X, although it might have come out around the time when Windows 2000 came out, which may explain why it works on NT as well, just fine. Now, Prodi Parrot was very similar to Bonzi Buddy in that it basically was some sort of desktop assistant. However, Prodi Parrot didn't carry any malware, but it had the same sort of idea. Interestingly, it could be controlled by voice commands, and it even came with its own microphone out of the box, which doesn't work, unfortunately, as I think the drivers are incompatible with Windows XP. But every other feature of this program works completely fine. So, let's just restart this machine and see where we get. And, as expected, this software installed completely fine. I turned off the volume just because it causes the video to lag rather badly. But as you can see, again, like Bonzi Buddy, he works completely fine. 
I'll probably do an in-depth review of this software uh, now that I know it works because basically this software formed quite a big part of my growing up. My first ever computer that I used was Windows 98 and this was installed on it. It was the first ever computer that I used at home, sorry, because technically we did have Windows 98 computers at school. So, as you can see, uh, this system works completely fine. And this sort of button here indicates that you could be able to use your microphone to communicate with them. So long as this was clicked, you could basically do whatever you wanted with it. And you could even play games with them. So you can imagine that back in the day, this bit of software might have been around on personal computers. In addition, there was also software installed that could allow you to change your language. However, for some reason, this was not installed when I installed the operating system. And with that, I think now would be a good time to finish off our bonus episode for Windows XP Starter Edition. Now that I am discovering more things about this operating system, I may make another video, although like I say, it's probably unlikely given that we have dealt with a lot of things this operating system has to offer. So, with that, I'm RCT3 Crashes 100, over and out.